So yeah, so I would like just to to um, present you some work we did with the um, modelization and uh, generation of uh, of fling job. But maybe before that, I would like to give you some uh, information about the the context in which. Uh, uh, this work uh, took place. So we're talking about uh, instant payments and by um, instant payments are, okay, so it's payments that are cleared um, within a few seconds. So when a user, if, yes, um, really, really sorry for this. So yes, the instant payments give really, uh, it's, are, it opens new doors for, uh, for fraudsters and uh, um, the idea is that then you need to, to react relatively f f uh, fast. And so fraud prevention relies usually on a mix of uh, machine learning models and rules that I'm going to refer to as uh, all as detection logics. And so you have this detection logic uh, really um, will ex examined, will be used to, uh, to screen the all the payments determine if they are fraudulent or not, and uh, and if they are fraudulent, stop then. Otherwise, let the the payment go and uh, the the money be cleared. Um, so, of course, then since the payments are instant, the detection logic needs to be served in a, in in real time, and for that we uh, well we 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 use Flink. So um, the things you have to understand is that it's really a race between uh, fraudster and, uh, and uh, the people in charge of uh, uh, fighting the fraud, with fraudster constantly coming up with new uh, modus operandi and new, new creative ways to, uh, to, to steal money, basically. And when they find one, they will uh, just uh, use it as much as they can and try to uh, to steal as much money as possible before uh, before they're blocked by, uh, by by the bank and so on the other end you have the data scientists the fraud experts really that are constantly uh, attack well adapting the detection logic and once there is a new uh, detection logic we have uh, data engineers who then adapt the fling job to this new detection logic. And so what we have been trying to, to do is see how can we accelerate the response to new threats by, uh, by automating the second step of, the gener of generating uh, the, uh, the, the fling job. And uh, if you look at that fling job, when it, what, uh, what it looks like really. Um, well, so you have a ingestion phase where payment arrives. Mm -hmm. So the payments are enter, enter the job. Then, uh, well, there's pass to a step of detection for the, uh, uh, where the uh, detection logic is applied. But before that, usually uh, information, the data um, in the, uh, the, the payment information really is usually not sufficient. And so you need to uh, uh, enrich it with other data. To, the way fraud works, usually you try, the fraud detection works, you try to uh, basically detect uh, differences between, uh, uh, well, abnormal behavior from, uh, from your customer, basically. And so you need, you know, enrich the data with some kind of information about the profile of the user uh, or s things like, um, well, the, those kind of, uh, of things. And eventually, when you have the detection, uh, well, gives uh, a, a result, a stop or a go, well, you, you have to provide this, uh, this, this result. Thing is that if you look at the ingestion phase and this uh, emission phase at the end of the bottom, the, the, they're pretty stable. I mean, the code doesn't change really. I mean, a payment, something really standard, this information that doesn't vary, the way to ingest it doesn't vary. Same thing for the, the, the result. I mean, it's a stop and a, or go basically. Uh, it's, there are not a lot of variation. And the way communication uh, 
between the fling job and uh, and the external world, the data is exchange is really using uh, using Apache Kafka. Uh, means also that the detection logic can be sent that way. It's a set of rules or uh, the machine learning model itself, it's expressed as PMML, meaning that you, you can load it easily into the, uh, uh, um, and you can dynamically at runtime change the detection logic and it, and it uh, works smoothly. At least, uh, as long as you don't uh, need for the new detection logic new uh, new enrichments, because there 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 you have a, a problem. Uh, there you you need to adapt the pipeline, <clears throat> and by enrichments, not just one step, but actually the step of enrichment can uh, vary because you, are, you you need multiple enrichment, multiple data for coming from various sources. So it's really more than one. Uh, one step. And so the, if I refer the question, is there really what we want to see is, is there a simple way for data scientists to specify the, the, the fling job uh, needed to serve the, a, a new detection logic, knowing that they have all the information because they know what the enrichments are, they, uh, because that's the new data they use to retrain their their uh, models or for uh, set well defining new rules, so they know what they need. Is there a way they can just specify this information and we can generate uh, the uh, the fling job for them? Well, it can be generated automatically, and so we we accelerate the deployment of the of that new logic. So really modeling a, pi a pipeline job in, in our case, it's, uh, it's really just uh, modeling uh, uh, this, these uh, enrichments. And actually, uh, well, and we have different type of enrichment, non-keyed enrichment, keyed enrichment. And I, will, I would like to give you an, uh, a little sense and look at you, with you at an example of how we, this can be done. So just a few assumptions that we, we try to, uh, to, to, well, to follow to give you more context. So all the data that uh, are exchanged with the Flink job, all the enrichments are expressed as JSON documents. The JSON key names really match the names of the, the PMML keys, so that's relatively straightforward. And we use one Kafka topic per JSON schema. So every source, every schema has one Kafka topic. And based on that, if you look at the example of the key enrichment, uh, well, you see there are just these five, uh, five properties. Well, the first one is just the fact that it's a, a key enrichment. Um, there are multiple uh, steps, enrichment steps. And so we have the, the number of the step. Data comes from a, from a topic, you, we, we provide the name of this Kafka topic. Uh, it's an enrichment based on a key, and we assume that the same key name, in this case, key three, uh, for the, uh, the, the enrichment data and in, for the payment data, and we, we precise the, the type. And with that, I mean, it's relatively easy to, uh, it's, it's enough at least, to, 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 to generate your, uh, your, uh, your job. Well, the first thing is you need a uh, Kafka consumer. And if you look here, you see that, uh, well, okay, you name, it's a step three, step three. So it's, we name it step three consumer. Um, it's a Kafka consumer and it, uh, it looks like the topic where the, the name is provided. Um, so that, that part uh, works. Um, <clears throat> well, then you need to create a, a stream from, uh, from uh, that, uh, that, that consumer. And you also, I mean, knowing that, uh, so it needs to be keyed for the, the keyed enrichment. So, okay, well, you, you have the type, of the, the, the type of your key. You know that it's step three, you have a step three consumer. Um, you do the keying by extracting the 
key and knowing its type. I mean, that's relatively straightforward also. So you, at this step two, you have all the information you need to, to generate the code. Um, generate then, okay, you need to join the two streams. Well, here again, I mean, you create a step three stream. So it's step three, you can, following these conventions, you know that you, you have a, data is coming from a, a step two stream. You are gonna, as we did before, you, you're just gonna key that, uh, that step two stream. You connect it to the key, key three stream that we, we, we have ju just uh, created in the previous slides. And then you apply this, uh, this uh, join function, basically. And so here also it's relatively simple. So the last problems really that we, we have is to see or to, to generate this function. And actually, if you look at the code of the function itself, I hope it's not too, not too small, but um, you have... Uh, um, uh, you, you also, I mean, you have all the information you need. I mean, knowing that you know, you name the, the function step three function, you have the, the information about the, the, the type of, uh, of your, of your, of your key. And, uh, okay. Yes. You, you can name the, the different states after the, after the step also. And, um, and, and, and basically that's, uh, all, all the rest of the code is really will be the same for, uh, each time. So, so with that, I mean, yes, with all these five elements we, we showed at the, at the beginning, you, you're, you're able to, to, to generate the, the complete enrichment step. So just to give you a, a, a few more examples, um, so yes, um, well, some other enrichment we have to do are can that can be predefined. I mean, really, um, well, in this case, okay, you have the type, uh, the, the the number of the step, and it's uh, an enrichment of an IP address. So basically, what you say, you indicate you you're turning the IP address into a, a location, and so you indicate the field where uh, the IP well, where in which the uh, IP address is provided and the field with the enrichment, you will provide the, the field, the name of the field in which you want to put the, the country name, the city name and the, G and the GPS coordinates. And basically that's, that, that, that's all you need, all the rest, all the mechanic for this specialized uh, um, step uh, can, be, can, can, can be generated automatically. And well, and same thing for for other things. I see it's already nine thirty eight. So I'll maybe move quickly to my uh, to my conclusion. So to 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 conclude, I mean, really, with the pros, it's make it possible for data scientists uh, without because that's important. They are fraud specialists, not uh, not fling specialists. Uh, that give them the possibility to uh, to parameterize a, a predefined fling job and the number of parameters i mean is relatively uh, limited and with using that technique i mean it's possible to significantly reduce the the redevelopment time of uh, of the job used to serve the the detection logic of course it's a very limited i mean it, it's it's a very specific use case and we Take as much as possible advantage of that that use case. Um, of course, the generic fling job must be developed at least once. And if data scientist comes uh, the first time with a with a, an enrichment that is totally new, uh, then it has to well things have to be uh, added. Uh, I mean, need to be coded. There is no no miracle there. Uh, just another thing for simple things. It's but a lot of things are simple. It's simple when you need to uh, include, well, some kind of express some code and logic that it's become much trickier. And of course, you always 
need it's required to generate uh, to compile and deploy the the newly generated fling job i mean it's not a uh, it doesn't work uh, in, it's not dynamic uh, so that's 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 also a, a cons and i think this way i've uh, trying to make up the the time i've lost so maybe if there are a f still question i guess it must be Still have we, we must have some uh, some time for that.